Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Wrestling Revolution 3D. We have a guest referee match against Hank Slogan. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, if you don't know, he's Hulk Hogan, basically. Um, this is the uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan incarnation. Who's the guest referee? Is it... I don't know who that... I guess he's just the guy who made the promotion. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Where's my guy? Wait, hold up. Is that him? Again, don't have sound for this. Oh, there he is. Hank Slogan. He looks pretty tough, but I think I can take him. Um, yeah, I think I can take him. I know he's a big Roydy Magoo, but, you know, we've, we've seen bigger. We've seen Roydier. We've seen, uh, seen better wrestlers. Lots of better wrestlers. Here's one of them. Da -na 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 -na. That's that, my theme song. Phil Mendoza. Uh, so if you guys did not watch the previous episode, we uh, changed our name to Phil Mendoza when we came to Hollywood. Uh, you know what? Worth it. Uh, even though I'm not Robin Nest anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, get some strikes in. Go for the face. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Okay, so he, uh, he got us with that, uh, that atomic drop there. Throw him into the corner. Oh, man. Right over the top rope. Look at that. We are strong. Get counted out, boy. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you, if you never watched any old Hulk Hogan matches, he's a horrible wrestler. Uh, he was a major draw. Like, in terms of uh, getting people to come to the events and stuff. But he was never a good wrestler. He pretty much entirely relied on people making him look good, selling his attacks and stuff. Yeah, he just... He was awful. So, um, that's why, like, if you watch the match between like him and Andre or him and uh, Ultimate Warrior, just horrible, horrible matches. Um... Like, they're, they're the most important matches in wrestling history, but they weren't good. So here we go. Gonna Irish whip him into the corner here, and flying shoulder tackle thing. Now let's get him on his feet, and tombstone. And the ref won. Didn't even get a two count. That's Hulk Hogan for you. Uh, that's another thing Hulk Hogan would do. He would just not sell his opponent's finisher, make them look horrible. So I we'll hope that that doesn't happen here. To to good old Phil. But man, yeah, that's basically what he would do. It's like no sell that move. Oh gosh, I just got close on. He would. Well, you know what? This is about how his matches would end. It would be, um, he would no-sell, hulk up, punch, punch, throw them into the uh, ropes, big boot, leg drop win. He'd be losing the entire match and then just punch, punch, boot, leg drop win. So, oh yeah, get punched in the face. I'm gonna break your face open, boy. Yeah, come on. Keep going. I was trying to get him to uh, get flung into the... What you call it? There we go. That worked. Get out of my ring, Hank Slogan. Yeah! Big old missile drop kick off the top rope. And right back on his feet. Because it's Hank Slogan. The, the Hankster. Come on. Kick in the head. Punch in the face. What what happened to me? I just kind of fell over. Did I get him? Did I break him open? Come on. Tap. Tap you. Tap you old geezer. Tap. I'm gonna break your ankle, Hogan. Slogan. He's gonna make it to the ropes. Dang. Jeez.
Yeah. Thought you were gonna hit me with that thing. On your feet. Get tombstoned. One. Seriously? I hit you with my finisher twice. I feel like he's just not gonna be able to get pinned. Like at all, ever. In his life. Cause that's what he does. Ah, man. Tap. Tap. Tap to my ankle lock. Ow. Jerk. Wonder if I can get him to uh to get pinned by another move. Cause evidently my tombstone isn't good enough. Suplex. Come on. Give the pin. One. Two. Three. Okay, so a suplex wins it. My what limitations? Hollywood, what? I don't know what they're talking about. Uh oh, meeting with God of War. That's the ultimate warrior. Hey, Phil Mendoza, would you like to take me on in a War Games one-on-one -on -one match? Wait, there's a War Games one-on-one -on -one match? Okay. You're on. All right, thanks for agreeing to the match. That seems really amiable. It's just like, hey, I'm looking to have a match with you. Deal? Yeah, cool, whatever. Well, whatever. Um, making the big bucks. And we're going to have this, uh, uh-oh, Midwinter is their new inter-champion. Uh, he's a ref. Mike Shawshot and Ripper Ace have defeated Majesty and Bobby Q to become the new tag champions. Cool. Um, so we got nothing for this week. That's okay. Losing some money, but, you know, happens. We'll get back on the uh, on the money train. Adam Bradbury. I don't know who he is. Dominator. That's uh, Rob Van Dam. Cool. Good job, buddy. Steve Engine has defeated Perry Class. Iguana. That's Lana. Uh, poor lady. She's supposed to be Rusev's uh, manager type. Who the heck is Beast Eater? Does anybody know who that is? I don't... I'll have to see when he comes in. I do not know who that's supposed to be. What's the last laugh? Oh, wait. I know what the last laugh match is. I remember these things. That's a... Uh, like, whoever gets the last pinfall of the... Or, the last fall of the match. So here comes Phil Mendoza. Yeah. I hope I haven't been pronouncing that wrong. It's pronounced Mendoza. Who's, uh... Okay, so who are... Up who are we up against? Um, Batista, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, probably, right? It's gotta be Batista, right? I don't know if it's Batista. Kinda looks like him, but they all kinda look the same. Okay, what are we gonna say? I'm sure you'd love to score a fluke victory over me, Phil Mendoza, but that's not going to happen this time. This is a last laugh match, which uh, ensures that the only way to win is to deserve it. Okay. That suits me fine. A last laugh match uh, just means I get to kick your ass more than once. Yeah, it does. So Beast Eater is Batista. I've, I've, uh, I've decided in my infinite wisdom. Go ahead and uh, build our uh, hype meter deal um, by uh, throwing a couple of these forearm tackle deal, or I guess it's like a shoulder tackle type of thing. Get knocked down. So he's all outside the ring and stuff. I'm gonna keep uh, keep taunting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks like it hurt. He's uh, he's pulling a Peter Griffin and grabbing his knee and going, <sighs> That didn't sound right. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not good at it. Uh-oh. He's got a chair. I knocked the chair out of his hand. Ow. Jerk.
No, he hit me with a bulldog. No. BC is coming. Ah. Come on, turn around. Ow. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, gotta be Batista. Even though he's the animal, not the beast. Brock Lesnar's the beast. Although... Wait, no, I suppose that would be why he's Beast Eater. Whatever. Thing is... Batista and Brock Lesnar never fought in the uh, in the big leagues, which is a shame because uh, I would actually really like to have seen that. Uh oh, tombstone time! Crush your skull. Okay, so sweet, we got the pin. So that's uh, that's really good. That means that uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, fight. Walks straight into that, and we busted him open good. Got him again. Come on. You want some more? You want some more? Uh-oh. No! Okay, good. We kind of just fell over. Ow. Nope, nope, nope. Ow. Get up. Get up. Don't let him get you, Phil. Yeah, there we go. We're going to keep focusing on the face here. I think that's going to be the way to go. Uh, by the way, those are technically face shots. Did we get him? Okay, I got him with that. Good. Just making sure. Uh, yeah, get out of my ring, boy. Who you think you are? So my character isn't particularly agile, so, uh, oh, I wonder if there's a, <gasps> there's a weapon, a plank, I want to hit him with a plank. See, so you're allowed to use weapons outside of the ring, which is hilarious, because you can just whack them. It's kind of hard to hit them while they're inside the ring, but, nope, ow. I don't know what just happened, but he's on the ground and I'm not. So. I assume it's something good. So let's just bash him while he's on the ground. Sound like a plan, guys? Ow. He hit me. So, uh, I can just keep bashing him. That'll, that'll make him pretty much dead. Okay, sweet, we got him uh, he's all out of health, so let's go ahead and uh, hop back in the ring here. I actually, I wish I could have bashed him with this chair. Because uh, chairs are some of the best weapons, in my opinion. Throw it. Cut the ref right in the back of the head. Nope. 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 Get off of me, you bum. Okay, beast eater. You wanna play like that? You wanna play like that, you stinking jerk? I'm gonna break your arm, grrr. Tap. Tap. Tap out. Tap out. You're gonna... Whoa, no. Ha. Get wrecked. Ow. He tried to counter it, and I uh, turned it into a... Ow. Oh, yeah. Get tombstoned. Did you see that? Caught him right out of the air, tombstoned him. Got the three count. I technically don't need to keep pinning him, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> Stay down, loser. Yeah. No point... Uh, Continuing a, a match like this if uh, if I if I'm not gonna go for the win, right? Whoop. He's been uh, he's been dodging my shots, but caught him with one there. Oh Man, you saw that straight jab right in the face And then a big right hook come on walk over here beast eater. 
Oh, big boot to the head. Oh, man. Kept coming through that one. Not through that one, though. My controls are going a little weird. Uh, I think it's just because the camera keeps changing angles. Oh, we knocked him silly. We knocked him senseless. Get knocked down. So, uh, yeah, like when the camera changes angles, and uh, that would change, you know, what direction you're going, but if you're already holding it, then you just kind of keep going in the direction you were. I don't know. Whatever. He's hiding. Knows he can't beat me. So he's uh, trying to trying to take a second to get out of the ring. Won't work though. Because eventually you're going to have to come back in here. And I'm going to hit you some more. Actually him being outside the ring doesn't necessarily bother me. So the more time he wastes... The, uh, the easier it's going to be for me to just win. Get punched in the face, loser. Oh gosh, I walked the wrong way. No! No! Get off of me, you stinking jerk. Get off! Get off! How do I help do? How do? How do I get out of this? These stinking submission holds. I don't understand how you're supposed to get out. No. Okay, good. We. I uh, I pressed random buttons for a second. So he's trying to build up some momentum. We're gonna have to squash this little comeback of his. Uh oh. Hey, get him off of me, ref. Get him off of me. <laughs> right into the ref. Kick him in the head. Stomp. Double axe handle. We have really messed with this guy's brain. He might have a concussion. Oh gosh, I missed. That was bad. Okay, we got him in the corner. Flying forearm. Woo. That used to be a legit finisher. Uh, who was it? I forget I forget the name of the guy. But yeah, the flying forearm was his finisher. Oh, whoops. I just hit the ref. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Get kicked in the head. I'm Phil Mendoza. Who the heck do you think you are? Get knocked off the apron. Phil Mendoza is supreme. Got 32 seconds left for this match. Oh gosh, I just knocked the ref off. Okay, here we go. Let's go get his ankle. Oh, dang it. Was kind of trying to uh, get him with that finisher there, but whatever. Don't need it. We've got this match in the bag. Boom! That's not exactly the image I was hoping to, to end it with, but whatever. Sweet. Oh, who's Mac Bison? I'm here to challenge you to a steel cage escape to victory match on the first week of November. Okay. Good. Make sure you're prepared for it. I don't want any excuses. After hey, listen. God of War was a was a broski about all this stuff. Who the heck do you think you are? Speaking of, I'm going to have to fight God of War next. Um... Who the heck is Endon Sizzler? Calvin Steen has left wrestling school. Oh, that's uh, Kevin Steen, right? That's Sami Zayn. Who's Anton Chinooki? Um, who are you? Hey, I should be the number one priority. I'm the best around. 
Eh, no thanks. I've got a couple of matches scheduled, and I've got lots of money that I'm going to be making. Hey, Sean Oliver. I don't know what the theme song is. It's the perfect song, though. Sweet. Um, yeah, you guys know that I don't have sounds. Speaking of, um, you know this is a recording. I'm going to end it right now because we're about 20 minutes in. Almost 21 minutes in, actually. So we'll fight God of War in the next episode. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.